Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with the next video, this is kind of a variety attack one at Town Hall 9. Wanted to show a few awesome attacks from Immoral Thieves. Same more as the base ID video uh, from uh, yesterday or whenever I upload these two. So I wanted to show a mass hog attack and two kind of mass witch-ish attacks. Both very interesting and I think show that Town Hall 9 a lot's working. A lot's probably working too well, especially in terms of uh, in terms of the air troops and the air combos. But uh, still, I think it's fun to be a Town Hall Nine and be able to use these uh, these different strategies. This is a very odd base, the way it has those four air defenses in the middle, and I think it just opens itself up to a mass hog in terms of creating these runways, uh, these runways for your hogs to go down uh, just and take them out methodically one section of the base at a time. Kill squad gonna get the uh, the queen, <clears throat> the uh, CC troops, I think it's a lava hound there in the CC, and uh, I think he has a scaly spell as well that kinda helped take out the queen right there. But the main focus of this is the hogs, he really just got a very small piece with that kill squad, a few valks in there as well. Here come the hogs though, helps having those level, um, what's max now, level six? Or the level seven, I can't remember. Uh, seems like they added something, but I should know this. Is it level 6 or level 7? Let me know in the comments what the max of hogs is. There are these giant bombs in pretty good locations, to be honest, but he just has 4 heals, which is so much for a Town Hall 9 base. Uh, that can cover a great deal of the base. You can see 3 of the 4 giant bombs were just right up towards the top left there in that one uh, half of the base. And I guess the rest is going to be towards the uh, towards this side. Still has two heals left. I think very good placement on the heals. And good stuff with that poison. Uh, drops it in a great spot so it takes out pretty much all those skellies and the uh, lava hound uh, lava pups that broke from that. Has that last heal. Just a very methodic run through. Nothing too special. Um, what, you know, just what the base needed. Uh, and this base can throw people off sometimes, I guess, with the way it's set up. But... Don't overlook mass hog attacks on certain bases, especially as people start to try to uh, go to great lengths to defend air attacks. Sets up new different uh, possibilities like this one. And like the next two attacks we'll take a look at, but look how many hogs he has left up. Probably definitely over 10. Uh, a great deal of hogs there. But um, two mass witch attacks for you guys. The first one coming to you from Trinat. 2016, and I hope that's not a Lord of the Rings character, because it seems like I always get uh, get reminded on that uh, when I mispronounce some Lord of the Rings character name or something, or when I just call it, I mess up the TDH attack. Um, I'm not a big fan of all the different names and stuff for the attacks. That kind of just reminded me. I don't know. I just it seems like the stupidest names for them. I guess that was actually the name of the person who invented it or something. But uh, it's hard for people to to learn. So I just tend to use the troops in it to describe the attack rather than trying to uh, to figure out what what it's being called. That was kind of a tangent. But anyway, this one was a interesting attack. You can see kind of similar to Town Hall not, uh, 10 and 11. He has these groups of witches, and instead of bowlers, has wizards going along the outside, clearing up the base from there. And then the main force going through, which is bowlers, and of course a few witches uh, as well. Has the skelly trap, perfect timing there. Uh, not this, not this trap, the uh, the spell to take out the queen. It's kind of a extension almost to the witches. You drop it out in front of them um, at a point when they are low on skeletons, and it provides like some artificial skeletons in a weird way. Not the ones the witches spawned, but just when you need it, when it's the uh, when the, the you know there's the most damage coming through, and the witches are not able to keep up their spawning of skeletons. That's a good time to drop in the skelly spell. In this case, just dropped it on the queen right there to prevent her from being too much of an issue. So many troops left up. Um, this base also made it very nice in the fact that it had these uh, these compartments running through it. Uh, he could just drop jumps along those compartments and take out the base pretty easily. So good stuff. Awesome stuff there. And a fun one to watch. Let's take a look at one more. Also with the uh, the blue-haired or the purple-haired witches, I think. Yeah, purplish-blue hair. Something in the mixture. 
uh, 20, 38, 38, yeah, all the way down at the bottom here, um, we have the same suspect, Trinat 2016 again, uh, so definitely showing that he is, uh, pretty proficient with these witches, and this base, uh, kind of reminds me of the no-fly zone a little bit, in how the, uh, the setup is, but it's also very different in some ways, just come at this base from the top left there, going to encounter those uh, wizard towers pretty early, and then on the other side, a few wizards as well. So a very wide funnel, just going to want to encounter the splash damage, the queen, the expos, a lot of the most important defenses early, uh, those teslas as well. You can see how wide this uh, entry actually is, and I think the golems were never intended to actually take that jump, but in fact they do, they make the long journey up towards the jump. I think just the the pathing worked out well, the AI was good, and as a result has some tanks in there as well as the witches. The Lava Hound, if anything, actually might help because it makes sure the witches slow down and target the Lava Hound and the Lava Pups, allowing the skeletons to get out in front. Uh, so it does have its benefits having the Lava Hound uh, in the CC if you're the attacker. But a few witches up top, a few witches on the bottom, uh, helping with the cause, making sure the flanks are being taken out at the same rate that the core of the base is being taken out to kind of come through it in one succinct wave. Last jump there allows him to access some of those Teslas in final defenses. So good stuff here. Works out very nicely to Trinat once again. Go ahead and fast forward for the sake of time because we all know how it's going to end with all these bowlers and witches and queen and golem. Uh, nice stuff there. Hope you guys liked the video. A little bit something different. So thought I'd show some of these attacks. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Sectatron out.